they have been around for a little while. Of course, tea really started being enjoyed as just good old loose leaf top form. And, you know, through the industrialization, so as tea bags, you know, become this commercial, you know, little jiggle dingy thingies um, that, you know, we all come to know nowadays and some of us fall in love with it. Well, I have fallen out of love with it for quite some time, about 10 years or so. And the reason of the change is simply that tea leaves taste so much better. And if you have ever torn a tea bag open, like what we just did here, the stuff inside is just shockingly tiny. And basically, the problem is that in order for tea leaves to go into a tea bag, it has to be chopped up. So the you know these good old forms of commercial tea bags, they've got about two grams of tea that is chopped into this um, gray core dust, and essentially. All you're getting is just a cup of brown liquid. It's not really having decent taste. And in fact, you may have already experienced that. And you say, ah, chuck another tea bag in, you know, trying to get a decent flavor out of it. Um, it doesn't really have much aroma. And certainly the actual tea flavor is gone. So the, the, the tea has been so highly processed, you really don't get a decent cup of tea out of it. And certainly a lot of tea bags are not very fresh as well. So even though you can pick them up easily in supermarket, and you may say it only takes me three minutes to make a, you know, a cup of tea with tea bags and it's just so convenient, the truth is you are really you know, downgrading yourself when you do stuff like that. And speaking of convenience, I can certainly show you a really easy way to make tea, and that is using infusers. I've got one here. Let's just imagine you're using a mug. You can just use an infuser like this one that we have. You know, this is our design, the cup holder infuser. And then, as you saw before, it just sits on the side of the mug. Really, really handy. So, just tea leaves in, on the side of the mug, hot water in, you're good to go. How different is that to dunking a tea bag? Honestly, not really different. The time spent is really identical. And of course, you know, once this is finished brewing, just, you know, tip the stuff out, you know, whether you want to chuck it into a compost bin or, you know, chuck it into the rubbish bin, it's easy, rinse to go, and you're, you're good, you know, and the, the fact is this three minutes that you have spent here is far more, you know, um, valuable, giving you, you know, a much better enjoyment, you know, in terms of the flavor of the tea, comparing to these little jiggy thingies, it's really not... Um, worthwhile to just go and downgrade yourself that way. And of course, you might also argue that leaf tea seems so much more expensive. I have to break this into you. In fact, it's not. There are two sides of this argument. First is, if you actually go and compare tea bag prices to loose leaf tea, and I have compared that with a higher-end pyramid tea bag, you know, pyramid tea bags like these little guys from David Jones, Comparing also the El Chipo ones from Office Works for your good old English breakfast. Actually, leaf tea is about the same price. In fact, it can be cheaper. Like the English breakfast, we got an organic English breakfast, 200 gram for 14.60 retail <laughs> as of today. Comparing to Office Work, you know, you get the same amount of tea in tea bag forms for $20. Why? Why do you do that? You spend extra six bucks for what? <laughs> so, you know, think about it. It's actually not more um, expensive to enjoy a good cup of loose leaf tea. And the other thing is also that in order to really, um, you know, try those really good tea out there, you have to go into leaf tea. They're, the good tea are not available in tea bag. In Australia, I mean, you do that, you're killing the tea. You just simply cannot get the authentic taste of the tea leaves when you are just drinking it from a tea bag. So have a bit of a think about that. And if you're a bit, you know, more inclined to do something for the environment, the tea bags are not completely compostable. Um, some tea bags can sort of, you know, go into the compost bin, but they would not totally um, decompose, I think is the word. So, um, yeah, really do have a think about that too. If you are, you know, thinking, wanting to be better for the environment, your loose leaf tea, um, the, the tea leaves can certainly go into 
you know, you can chuck it into the plants. That's what we sometimes do here as well. So, you know, it's, it's actually really, you know, and all around leaf tea is giving you better quality tea to drink and quite possibly cheaper and quite possibly giving you more, you know, cups of serving per, you know, same amount of tea leaves because some tea leaves you can actually reuse, you know, for every tea Tea, uh, teaspoonful of tea and uh, of course you know it's much better gentler to the environment comparing to the tea bag as well so I hope I have convinced you to have a look at leaf tea if you have any questions or if you want to share your experience moving from tea bag to loose leaf I definitely want to hear those and uh, drop those comments and feedback and stories into the comment box underneath this video I'll catch you next time